Hey guys, so this is a review on the NAC Colomer Foundation. I know mine's kind of messy right now, and I'm trying to let you guys kind of pick up on my color because it's so washed out right now. Like, I'm using natural lighting, like from the window coming in, so I'm not this light. Okay, I'm not this pale, so, um,. Plus, I'm using my webcam, so that has a little bit to do with it as well. But um, I talked about this foundation before, but this is my official review on it. By me trying to hold my smile in, I'm guessing you guys, you guys can kind of guess that I like it, right? Right. <laughs> but anyway, so um, so this is the Mac Pro Longwear Foundation, and um, I've tried their Studio Fix powder and other type of foundations for matte. Did not like them. They broke me out. Um, yeah, I just didn't like them. So I was like, well, let me give MAC a chance. So I went in, got my color matched. Um, I, they actually let me apply it myself. Um, the store wasn't even busy, but I know how to do my own makeup. So they gave me the brush and everything, and they just let me apply it myself. And they paired it with mineralized skin finish. And let me tell you, let me tell you, okay? Um, I love this foundation. I love it. I love it. I love it. It is the furthermost best invention Mac has ever came up with, by far. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know what I'll do if this ran out. They should like literally make a powder, like a MAC Pro more powder. If they have one, um, let me know because I have no idea if they do or not. But, um, five. But this, this, um, foundation is a shade lighter than my skin tone. When the girl matched me up, I already had makeup on my face, so I guess she went by that. But then when I took off my makeup, she still matched me and it was bright. But now I feel like it's a shade lighter. But that's okay because I use my mineralized skin finish in dark. So that makes my perfect color. So it's all good. I love it. I love it. I love it. If you guys have this foundation, please, please, please pair it with a mineralized skin finish. Your face will look flawless. I mean flawless like like no other. Like flawless. Flawless. <laughs> I can't even talk right now. But um yes you guys I love this foundation. I love it. I love it. I love, I love you. I love you. But yeah, um I really wish they would make a powder form in this. If they do, then let me know. I have no idea. Um it has SPF ten and surprisingly that it has SPF in it. Like that's like sort of oil based. It doesn't break me out. And I have like oil new skin acne prone skin. I have like the worst skin you can possibly think of. Um, my face is super sensitive so whatever I put on it sometimes breaks me out but um, I just got lucky with this and with this. So um, It's lightweight. It's not too heavy. It doesn't really even feel like I have any makeup on. Like seriously. Um, sometimes if I like want more coverage than just one swipe over my whole face then I will put more. But um yeah, it's, it blends in with my hand perfectly fine, almost. So you see where it is right here in my hand. So it's like about a shade lighter than my skin tone. But yeah, um, come on, you've been so good to me. What do you want me to say about you? Um, it's just good stuff. Like, I love this. The smell is not too overbearing, like overchowering. Usually, like the MAC foundations, the smell is just like, just smell like chemicals, and I hate that, but this one's not too bad. I can't smell it. Like, I'm trying to smell, I can't smell anything. So, um, but when I put it on my face, I can smell a little bit, but it's not that bad. But yeah, so, um, this is a definite, definite, definite must have. Um, definitely a no de December favorite, December favorites, most definitely. Like, I can only kind of, kind of feel my powder, because I like to just put 
put it on and I, I know I may, I put it on a little bit too much, but it's not cakey, so that's it's all good. Um, what else do I have to say about it? I'm just talking about it like it's not there. So, you no longer wear. What else would you like me to say? Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. The formula is, it's, it's not really thick, but I use like a pump for half my face and then a pump for the other half of my face, so that's all I need. Um, I'm going to do a very little bit amount. Um, also, if you guys haven't checked out my contest, go check out my contest. Um, I just put it up last night, so good luck and uh, check it out. So, um, yeah, hope you guys like my review on the Mac for Longwear. And I will do a updated foundation routine using this one of these days. So I'll show you guys exactly what I do. This lighting is not even giving my face not a bit of justice. Okay, it's totally washing it out. And I wish you guys can see how my face looks right now. Let me try to move around. So. Cool. So there goes my um, review on the MAC Polymer Foundation. Hope this was helpful to those who are still a little leery about picking it up with acne prone skin, um, oily skin. So um, yeah, and I'm trying this um, the De Slick uh, Spray by Urban Decay. Um, it's by Scandinavia, but it's Urban Decay's line. So, um, yeah, I'm trying it for the, for a second time and seeing if it will work because I did like the whole nine today, like my foundation, my blush. Um, I just have eyeliner on today and, and mascara. So, um, that's pretty much it. And blush and lipstick. So, let's see how that goes. And yeah, so see you guys in the next video. I have on my boyfriend's t shirt right now because I'm going to go to work and. I just grab some clothes so I can shower and then do my hair and my makeup and now I'm going to get dressed for work. So, I will see you guys in the next video.